So I'm going to show you how to uh, dismantle and service a Lumar Evo winch. Before starting a, a service routine, it's best to have these parts at hand. Spares required for servicing the Lumar winches. Spare bearings, pulls, springs and possible pulls, oil, grease and a brush to put the grease application on. To start servicing the Lumar Evos winch, you first remove the spin off top. This should only be hand tight when applied so it should be easy to undo. Then remove the feeder arm. Then remove the drum. Next, the drum bearings are removed. The uh, washer. You can then remove the collets. These collets are holding in the centre spindle and insert into here when reinstalling. Then to remove the gear sets, remove this spindle. Then remove the other gear set. And they're going to strip down each pull gear set. Each pull gear set contains two pulls which are held located by springs and these are easily removed. We're now going to move on to decreasing the components. You can use white spirits, uh, diesel or any commercial used degreasers that are available. Do not use uh, gasoline or petrol as uh, it can degrade the plastics. Thoroughly clean the components with a degreaser and remove all the old grease. Now everything's been degreased, we now must insert the pulls. Take the pull and push the spring against each other with your thumb and forefinger and insert into the pull pocket. We're now going to service, regrease and re-oil as required. First of all we're going to start off with the output gear. Just check the, the bearings inside here are good for good fit and replace as necessary. Lightly grease inside the ratchet gear track here and on this centre spindle here. Using the winch wheel, oil the pulls. Then insert the pull gear inside the ratchet gear and check for operation. We then locate the ratchet output gear inside the centre stem Lightly grease the bottom here where it touches the centre stem. A little bit of grease on the spindle and insert spindle and locate. We do the same for the second set of gears. Oil. Lightly grease. Check for operation. This gear also has some bearings inside here, just make sure that is a nice tight fit, replace as necessary. Lightly grease the bottom here where it touches the centre stem. Lightly grease the spindle and insert. We then replace the centre spindle, grease the gears and the centre spindle and insert. We can then replace the collets. 
Again, these are lightly greased. If there was any wear on the outside here, then replace. You may just need to use a centre spindle to locate. We can now insert a winch handle and grease the bear gears. Place the drum washer. You may notice that there's a uh, chamfer on this washer. That must go downwards to take the cut out of the centre stem. Place one bearing. Grease it as you go. A spacer. And one more bearing. We now come to the drum, which should have been degreased. Lightly grease the gear and on the drum bearings. Replace the drum. Then it comes to the feeder arm. Make sure the collets are nicely home and replace the feeder arm. Lightly grease the top cap to make it easier for remo removal next time and then spin down the top cap. That's the winch service complete. Uh, you may have noticed now that we've now completed the winch service and we've used no tools uh, to take the winch apart. The gears are easy to put back together and they can't go in the wrong way. On the website we do have a Lumar manual that has a full list of spares and grease available.